Yo, it's your boy Adam, back with another video on the channel. FIFA 21 is officially out for you guys that have pre-ordered it, including me. And yeah, we've got a custom tactics video tutorial for you guys, for your starter squads, your starter teams, for the start of the game. Obviously, we're still discovering the meta, but we kind of got the, the idea of it. Obviously, formations will be slightly different because of stuff like heading, which is going to affect that. And we will find that more the more we play. But yeah, this is some sort of game highlights of the tactics that I'm running. I'm in Division 2, so it's quite competitive, you can say. Obviously, once Foot Champs comes out, that will be an even sort of more realistic test, a better test of it. And yeah, if you want to see more of our tutorials that are going to be coming out daily, maybe even twice a day, then uh, drop a sub, smash that like button, yeah. And obviously, we stream every day on Twitch. The link is in the description below. So... This tactic is very balanced, very meta, and like, I'm not going to tell you tactics that are mind-blowing and revolutionary because that just don't exist, so we'll run through them now. So, this is my road to glory. This is my team. Obviously, when we're streaming on Twitch, I have the remote control on the screen, so that will help you out if you guys want to see how I get along as well, how I'm playing, what I'm pressing. So, we just remove that for now. But yeah, this is my... It's a road to glory squad. A couple of things you might be thinking, what the hell is he doing? And the first one is ZH. Why has he got a shadow? Well... That was accidental, I'm going to put a Hunter on him, but for now, I don't really shoot with him because he's just a winger for me, purely that, and he gets the same pace as a Hunter, so that will do for now while I save my coins. He's actually untradeable, I wouldn't actually use him, because he has got two-star weak foot, and yeah, also, the glove on Cash for Smichael, you might be thinking, oh my god, ado has got a glove, he always says basic, 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 well, this year is different because... With a goalkeeper basic, they get plus 5 everything as opposed to plus 10, which is a huge game changer. And if you've got a goalkeeper like I do, Schmeichel, he's got really high reflexes, 89 in fact. If you put a basic, yes, it will give it 94. A reflexes is extremely important. But with a glove, I'm giving him 15 handling and 10 diving instead of 5 handling and 5 diving. So it does depend on the goalkeeper. But yeah, generally a basic and a glove will probably be the most used this year. So that's the, the first two things. In-game, you will see how I run it. But yeah, we have Yota as a striker. I really recommend him. He is unbelievable. With a finisher, he's pretty much hitting the caps on, on most of the important stats, which is just ridiculous. I bought Mahrez as well, 5-star skill baller. We're going to have skills tutorials obviously coming out. If you've got any ideas for videos, I want you to write them down in the comments below. And I will get to those videos so yeah let's get right into custom tactics now so we're going to run you through two of them defensive is what we're going to in game for those of you that don't know the formation you saw there was purely just for chemistry purposes as i hope you guys are doing that as well and obviously we'll run you through our attacking we are going to be doing a 4-2-3-1 tutorial today as that is currently what i'm using and once i experiment with other formations i will roll them out so in game we just go left left via the d-pad to our defensive which is essentially our balance first thing is the defensive style and we're going to keep it on balance just because everything else is attacking and obviously drop back is too defensive so it's literally balance it is what it says you don't want to be too attacking and you don't want to be defensive unless that's your sort of style of play it's definitely not mine so the width is five that's really good you don't need to go crazy and the depth is four reason i don't really like five is a bit too attacking for me especially at this stage of the game a lot of you guys might not have the fastest center backs and they've nerfed a lot of them this year in well especially the pace they've nerfed anyway the offensive style is balanced as well i suggest long ball you want to experiment with that and balance if you're going to start uh, fast build up is too attacking possessions a bit sort of mundane a bit boring a bit relaxed so those two are the ones long ball is essentially you're you're, you're playing sort of direct uh through balls over the top through the side um very sort of counteractive a bit like sort of Liverpool I guess in real life right so we have it on balance but yeah try that out five width again and we have five players in box and yeah this seems to work out for me obviously with a 4 2 3 one you've got the three players that sit behind the striker and this allows you to have them making runs into the box and obviously with heading coming back this year it gives you an extra opportunity to score another goal corners of free kicks is 2-2 two, two. this is personal preference like purely to be honest with you actually now that i've said it i'm gonna run it on three for corners and two for free kicks reason being corners you can definitely score this year with headers so that makes sense and uh you don't want to go too attacking because you could get caught out there's only two players that will probably score all your corners how it is on this game and free kicks, I always go short personally, lay it off, and I always score like that. So yeah, that's the reason for that. So that's the only thing we're actually going to change. 4-2-3-1, it is this variation because the 
variation with the two is a bit more defensive and we don't like that one it's not as great in my opinion so this is how our lineup in game we've got Morris as the can five star four star finish shot trait good passing stats really good vision stats and then Yota to finish it ZH you need to remember this as well I run ZH as a as a lamb because he's got two star weak foot if you've got a player that's got two or three star weak foot you want to play them on their strong foot even as a CDM because whenever they pass that is going to be affected and determined by their weak foot so yeah just bear that in mind same applies for Gamero we just keep him on the right especially as we're going to be crossing it quite a bit Dombele and Sissoko they both unfortunately got three star weak foot the the hyperlink so to speak so it doesn't matter what side they're on but in terms of if you've got two center backs that are both right footed or left footed you're going to want to put the one that's got the worst defensive stats on their stronger foot so in my case Tomori gives him a better chance of getting the ball tackling winning the ball so that should make sense to you guys first thing i'm going to go with is the fullback stay back while attacking on both of them it's an essential for 99 percent of tactics and formations in my opinion especially with starting it's just super crucial because you just will get caught out and, and nothing has changed that dramatic to warrant you changing it but yeah by all means try experiment maybe balance if you want to just try it out as we are at the start of the game there is nothing that's super meta but these will get you through your games as it's obviously working out for me i'll probably be in division one once we are streaming next so both dms stay back cover center we haven't got great uh dms at this stage of the game unless you've got one that's a really good sort of box to box and you're comfortable you want to play more attacking and pressing then run one of them on balanced cover center but both need to be on cover center and i have both of mine on stay back while attacking so we have our cam our main central camp on balance basic for everything if you want to be a bit more offensive you've got the getting box across is a great option the stay forward i don't really recommend at this stage as well a bit too attacking and very unlike me but we're going to have the lamb and ram on comeback on defense just for a bit more solidity a lot of people are struggling to defend this year on fifa 21 i am going to be releasing a defending tutorial for you guys within the next couple of days so yeah just make sure you've got your notifications on so just to be a bit more solid we're gonna have them on comeback on the fence and this won't restrict you that much when it comes to the attacking phases so don't worry about that it also all of these are also dependent on your players um work rate so that will have an effect and then we just have our striker on either getting behind or mixed attack but i pretty much like it on that and you can trigger your runs anyway so it doesn't really matter if you have them on basic right now we're going to go to the attacking we have press off the possession loss or press on heavy touch these are your two options um from for the attacking obviously constant pressure is extremely offensive you'd probably want to up the depth more so i recommend press on heavy touch or press off the possession loss i haven't really tried them out enough to say one's much better than the other last year they were doing patches and then this one was better so we're still yet to sort of find out which is the the most sort of effective one but we're going to leave it on this one for now it's been working well five five we up the depth by one balanced or fast build up is going to be what you want fast build up's obviously a bit more offensive so that one depends how crazy you want to go because we don't actually we're not actually running an ultra attacking sort of tactic yet five whip and then obviously sorry i've got the whip wrong it should be five whip and then the players in box is either going to be five or six i don't know why that was different so yeah we do not want to up the whip if you do want to mess around with your whip i suggest changing the defensive one to four to keep it a bit more narrow and compact but i seem to like it on this you don't really need to go from five to six the reason is you've got the striker and the and the free cam you don't really want your dms going in there so i like it on that and then pretty much have that on what i had on the previous one the three two or three three is fine four two three one again the same variation we're not going to change that and now we've got the stay back while attacking on both fullbacks again i just feel like even when you're attacking you want to try get a goal you just don't want to get caught out there there's no point conceding more goals especially at the start of the game when your your players aren't that fast your fullbacks might not be that rapid so we've got both dms stay back cover center i still don't want none of mine bombing forward they're both really sort of defensive they're not really attack minded they ain't got the best shooting stats their passing stats are, are good but not not really what i want up there got a cam on getting box across maybe stay forward if you like and then we've got our our cams uh the lamb and ram on balance and basic for everything a bit more attacking again would be the getting box across but i just don't want that many players making runs into the box but yeah definitely try them out i mean these are minute things minor things but we're all experimenting together and for me this is just working perfectly fine and then the striker is on getting behind 
But yeah, as this is just the attacking, obviously if you was to do the ultra attacking, then you can't up the depth by one. You can go fast build up, you can put your Lama around to get him also across. But yeah, try it out and see how it works for you. I probably will experiment with this one a little bit more with them getting box across. But yeah, everything I've shown you is exactly what we are going to be running from now until the near future, as well as me experimenting in other formations. So a lot of people have been mentioning the 41212 in the stream to me, the, the narrow variation. And this year is working very well. Um, obviously, people are struggling to defend, so that helps you a bit with the defending because it's just packed out midfield helping your defense. And it doesn't really affect you. You can still cross as much. Maybe you extend the attacking whip and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll be talking about that in another video as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions, write them down in the bottom in the comments. And I'll get back to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button if you did. See you next time. It's been your boy. At least one more thing to say. Safe.